basically she was saying that women when they get dressed they get dressed with intent they know what this shirt does uh to men when they see it they know like they have intentions on what they put on for a reason i know this is a short skirt i'm gonna wear this because it may give me the extra push to get the interview over said person who's not attractive and that women just got to be a little bit more responsible with making those choices basically is pretty much what she said or what i took from it it's like you can't go in there looking like this and then expecting that from the outcome you know uh basically keep your integrity intact and be mindful of what you're wearing so um <clears throat> Based on that, I mean, I think that, um, well, you know what? I think, see, you should speak first. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I want to interrupt you. Go ahead. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, I'll go after. I, I mean, well, I'm just saying, I think as a man, sometimes we have a, an opinion that I feel like should be, you know, shouldn't be fucking <laughs> jumped on and, and, and torn apart but sometimes when men speak on women issues everybody like to get sensitive that's why I said you go but what I think is um I'm not sensitive I like, I, well I know you're not I'm just saying in general <laughs> I think I agree I think I understand what she's saying I think that if you are dressing a certain way um as an adult who just knows what different nuances are about being in certain social social circles and what have you like you know what you're doing if you're a woman I'd assume that you know if you wear certain things you're going to get certain looks and you may think that might get you ahead but you know I think that based on and what you're may, saying he was it may it, get it, you ahead but. right but but I think part of this Sage steel thing right was um, she basically was saying it's only going to get you butt so far in this business. Is that was her whole Correct. thing? Yes. Right. So she yes. was suspended. She was suspended um, because of these statements, right? Basically. Yes. Yes. Um, that and they 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 highlighted what she said about Obama, which was um, she said uh, she is biracial. <laughs> and when filling out the censors, no, it came from a conversation. Census. <laughs> the Census Bureau. The Census Bureau. <laughs> I definitely can't say rural. But, uh, rural? Rural? <laughs> no, she, she, she said she was on The View. And... Uh, I forgot who on The View, but had a big debate with her about what did she identify as. And she said she identifies as biracial. She said to go either way would be to discredit the other side. Like if I say black, I'm not being true to my white side. If I say white, I'm not being true to my black side. So I right. say biracial. And she right. said they told her, no, you got to pick one. And you uh, got to pick one because Obama picks one and he picks black. And she was like, well, I find that to be interesting that he identifies with black because he'd been raised around white people. So that's a little crazy to me. And because mm -hmm. um, it, 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 that is a, a interesting thing we may could get into, but your, I guess, culture versus nationality right so if you're brought up in this culture does that cancel out your nationality or does your nationality cancel out your culture meaning like if i'm a black man but i'm raised by white people i get what you're or, saying yeah like because tommy, yeah, Davis, think, tommy davidson was raised by white people and yeah. he was black he was raised with a white family and he was mm -hmm. black but mm -hmm. that's nasty to tell somebody that you got to pick one. And who are you? Y'all just out here just talking to people, being disrespectful. How dare you ask me who do I identify as? A woman. 
Get the fuck out of my face. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, yeah, I think it is nasty that. to say That's that disgusting. you have to choose because I was about I, I think I, it's I nasty to that. ask somebody what they identify as. That's and, nasty. And because then to you, tell them you got to pick because somebody else did. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's crazy. And but then I don't you, know. You say, don't, and then you try to say, I'm sorry to cut you off, but you try to say, you know, President Obama, as if you tried, you went to the top. You tried to go all the way, like, well, no, you didn't you know, go to the top because that's just what the I'm regular saying. person. On, just relax, relax. No, you know it's not. That's not. You know what you I'm saying. The president, me, but you don't compare me to President Obama. You don't compare me to President Obama. You don't you shouldn't compare be compared to anybody. But what I'm saying is the fact that they used Obama, they used him because he was the former president. He was black and he's a big figure. Like that's and, so and if when he I say do it, time, everybody like, got to do yeah, it. Yeah, like you know, come on, like that's, that's what, what they. Saying. But that's what I'm saying. You don't compare. First of all, you don't compare somebody to somebody else, like you said first. But then you don't compare them to him because he chose to do that. I don't give a fuck what he chose to do. And how again? can you, huh? Remix that, say that one more time. You don't what? I don't give a fuck what he chose to do. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you gonna sit here and tell me that, oh, he did this, so I should do this. No, I don't care. Like you can't sit there and say that this person is that, so he identifies as that. You you can't do that with her. That's 